The COVID-19 pandemic has forced many industries to change how they do business. The court system, no exception. Samir Nefsi now in the control room with a look at how the courts have adapted. Samir. Joe, good evening to you. Uh, this was all made possible through CARES Act funding to purchase these virtual courtroom setups, allowing the county to buy three mobile setup units as well as convert one courtroom into a virtual one. The pandemic has shaped up differently for many businesses. The legal system is no different. The court system has evolved from subpoenaing a person to appear in person to now showing up virtually. We had to ensure that the public still had access to their hearings that dealt with very important rights. It's being accomplished through this, a virtual courtroom using a system, Polycom Video Conferencing. It's basically the legal equivalence of Zoom. Incarcerated defendants do have the right to still attend a court appearance in person. However, if they decide to come here to the Erie County Courthouse, they would have to quarantine for 10 to 14 days following their appearance, which leads to many just waiving their right and appearing virtually. County District Attorney Jack Denary says his department has been happy with the overall outcome of the virtual stride. Denary adding the transition has provided a few laughs. There's a number of things. Um, it usually has to do with someone not knowing that the mic, uh, as you would figure, that the mic was hot, you know, that it was on, or someone not realizing, yeah, someone who's not part of the discussion is loud enough that they can be overheard. Both Denary and Trusilla agree, saying the virtual evolution of the court system has created a new era. It's paramount to get it right and to, to make sure that you're moving forward um, without uh, violating the individual's rights. We want to make sure people are comfortable, that they feel safe, and as president judge, that's my responsibility. It's become common practice now to allow guilty pleas as well as uh, many types of hearings to be conducted via these virtual platforms, even an adoption hearing. Joe? Okay, Samir Nafsi, thank you.